Hello, Ms. Williams. Am I glowing? You are. You know why? I'm reflecting the red Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We just brought this guy out. It's so sexy. Yeah. I love it. It's metallic. We had the black one out here for a while, but man, this red, so yeah. glossy. And it's kind of got this. It's got metallic in it. You can't really see on the camera, but. No. It anyway, does. you take our a, word for it. It's very beautiful. So what we're doing today is we're showing you how to dial in a grinder. Just basically an update. We've done this before. This is just the overall general method, right? Not yeah. specifically with these machines, but just no. with any machine and apply the same techniques with any grinder, any machine, except a pressurized portafilter. filter. Okay. You're not going to get the timing the same. So what we're looking to do is get a double shot, mm -hmm. two ounces between 20 and 30 seconds. Okay. Now we're going to show you what it looks like to come out probably way fast. <laughs> well, before we do that, Gail, yeah. um, can you just give me, can you run through sort of the basic, I guess, theory behind how you go about dialing in a grinder? If, if, well, I start with the, I just guesstimate okay. on a grinder where I think I should start. And there is no right or wrong, just start. Mm -hmm. And if you find that your shots are coming out like in, 10 seconds instead of that 20 to 30. Okay. That means your your uh, the grind of your coffee is too coarse. Okay. Uh, on the other side, if it's coming out in 35, 45 seconds, way too fine. Okay. So you're looking to adjust your grind to make that 20 to 30 seconds. Now, um, uh, what your dose will also play a part in that as That's well. That's true. Yep. Um, so how do you kind of go about, I guess, normalizing that when you're dialing it in? Well... What do you mean normalizing it? Well, how do you make sure you're dosing the same amount every time? Well, you weigh it. <laughs> <laughs> you would weigh it. But or, what about you? you how do you do it? For me, it's just looks. Okay. It's just a looks thing. And once you get the hang of it, you can weigh it in the beginning to see what you're doing. But mm -hmm. once you get the hang of it and your technique going, you'll probably hit it within one gram every time. And we actually took a class and we actually mm -hmm. did a video of you getting it right on. Mm -hmm. Almost every time. All right. <laughs> cool. All right. So we're starting, you think, um, probably too coarse right now. Too coarse. Okay. Other things are um, sourness. You'll, yeah, if it's too, if your shot is coming out too fast, it'll be sour. Okay. And if it comes out too over extracted too long, mm -hmm. it'll be bitter. Okay. And it's very distinct. Yes. <laughs> Especially with Kat's palate. <laughs> She's like, oh, and I'm like, what is it? Bitter, sour? What is it? And she'll go, well, it has some um, sour. Citrusy no. sour. <laughs> She's the person you want to take wine testing. Mm -hmm. The other thing that you want to do when you're doing this, you notice that I'm leveling it off. Mm -hmm. If you let it just go in the center and then level it off later, you'll have more dense coffee in the center because you're piling one on top of the other, so it's getting heavier and heavier. Okay. And around the edges will be finer. And that affects your, uh, the pour of your shot. So you overfill it. Okay. That would also affect the uh, dose amount too, right? Because if you yep. level it down, you can fit more in? Yep. Okay. And that affects your whole pour too. So everybody's is going to be a little bit different. Yeah. I mean, you, you might have two people in the house and they use the same grinder and they mm -hmm. get different results at the same ex identical settings. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm, j I'm not pushing down. I'm simply going like this to... You're grooming it, Gail. Grooming it. Yep. I'm getting it into all the corners. And then, Gail the gardener. Okay. Now, I happen to know that's going to be around, with a little bit of a hump like that, it's going to be around 19 grams or so. Okay. But I'm not going to weigh it in front. <laughs> <laughs> like, not, we're not going to do any error checking, Gail? Yeah, not today. Not on this, not, not, that's not the focus of our... Uh, anything? Anything today. <laughs> our story. Oh, yeah, there she goes. 12 seconds. Okay. <laughs> um, another thing, too, is you want to have, when you turn the shot on, you don't want to see that coffee coming out right away. No, it takes about, what, four or five seconds for it to start to come out. Yeah. And you want these little fine tails coming out. Rat tails. Oh, Gail, you're myself. amazing. Look at what you would do for science. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> as we knew, that was too coarse. The other thing I want to talk about is when you make a, a change in your grinder. Mm -hmm. um, I know on the Mausers you're supposed to 
dispense out to get rid of what's in there, the old grind, 30 grams. Okay. Every grinder's a little bit different because of the length of the shoe and how big the burrs are and stuff like that, how much is trapped in there. Okay. That's the other thing. A uh, finer grinder must be on, coarser doesn't really matter when you're yeah. bringing the burrs together. You're bringing, yeah, your burrs, you got one burr sitting on top of the other, mm -hmm. and in between there is coffee from your previous grind. Mm -hmm. If you try to put them closer together and make it finer, you're compressing that coffee, you could damage the machine. And also it doesn't give you an accurate adjustment, so you'll make yourself a little crazy because you're like, I just made it finer and it's exactly the same. Well, it didn't <laughs> you know? take that to make me crazy. <laughs> Okay, so, so I'm, you're I'm just going to toss that. all that. So basically yeah. a porta filter. That's full. a whole porta filter full. Okay. Visually, did you notice that the grind had changed? Yes. Okay. More clumping. So that would be another way to know kind of like how much your grind you might need. Mm At the beginning, you were like, doesn't matter where you start, start anywhere. I, I just wanted to kind of reiterate the fact because we get several times a week at least. Can you tell me where I should start with this grinder They're and this machine? They don't just <laughs> what say number start. do you what want? Yeah. Am I supposed to be on exactly for this machine? Well, it depends on the machine itself. Every machine has its personality. It depends on the. Uh, the coffee beans you're using, the yeah. humidity in the air. So you can, we base, I sometimes, depending on the grinder they're using, like I'll say start at the finest and move on up or start somewhere in the middle, it's on the you grinder, know? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So let's see what this does. Okay. Still too fast. But closer. Mm hmm. Where are we at? 16, 16. 17. Okay. 17. Have you ever taste arugula? Mm. Gail's going to end up with sour belly at the end of this. Mm. <laughs> yeah, ooh, ah, oof, oof, ah. Okay. Still bad. So we ground some out, and now we're just filling it up. And <laughs> the other question we get all the time? Mm-hmm. What grinder is not messy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's that does not exist. No, it sure don't. <laughs> doesn't even think about existing. No, that's a lie, Gail. The Hario Mini Slim Hand Grinder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> that one is the cleanest kid in town. I think this is going to be too fine. Yeah, see, it's not even coming out yet. Ooh, choke it. Did you, you purposely took it down finer than yep, you thought it I would sure need did. to be? Okay. Okay, so yeah, see that? That's bad. Oh, man, yeah, this is going to be, you know, that, you know that road gravel we talk about with grinders? Well, this is going to be the, you know how they put tar down first, exactly. then they put the, the asphalt in? This is the tar. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 50 seconds. Okay. Obviously, uh, just a, a tints over extracted gill. <laughs> you can do it. To. Come on. For science, gill. It's not as bad as the sour. Here, taste it. It's not nearly as bad. The sour was really nasty. Yeah. That's, that's not still a, not a good shot. No, but it's not. You should have tasted one of it, it definitely has a charcoal undertone to it, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> so I took it down. There's a little notches here. I took it down about three notches to make it coarser. Okay. And we already ground it out. Well, since the knockbox is over there, we'll just get this all over the countertop. <laughs> well, it's not like there's nothing on there already, Gail. Yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Your pristine countertop. Like I said, you can, like, if you're getting close, you can just ease up on your tamp or hit it a little harder if mm -hmm. you're really close. And sometimes with a stepped grinder, you have to because, like, one notch up will be too course yes. and one notch down will be too fine. Like the Ranchilio Rocky grinder is a step grinder. Yeah, and it's... that one you sometimes got to work it out with your tamp. Yep. Much better. Now that looks like it could be right on. Close. It started coming out at about six seconds, which I, uh -huh. I 
is generally a good rule of thumb. 23. Okay. See what it tastes like. I got a little more foam in there. Crema, but not much. Not bad. Getting better. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take it um, down a notch? Finer? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, maybe a down, one more okay. notch, and I think we're there. Okay. So you took it one notch down, Gail, to um, a little bit teeny about, finer? Um, probably two. Oh, you, but we only moved it up three. I moved it about three or four the last time. Okay. I think I split the difference. I hope. <laughs> so I guess we'll find out, won't we? Yeah. It's hard to tell on that one because the notches are... There we go. Mm -hmm. We might be a little over extracted here. Yeah, I thought maybe. Let's see. Yeah, it yeah. So, see, one notch, I would say, on the grinder. I want everybody to note for the record that was my suggestion. Mm. It's not too bad, really. Was one notch, not two? I heard you. I'm ignoring you. Yeah. It's 32 seconds. Yeah. So, you can see what the deal is, though. It's a still good shot, though. It's not bad. Mm -mm. It's a lot better than the first two. <laughs> I'm yeah, sure I didn't yeah, go yeah, down yeah. that road. Those are bad. Okay, so things to keep in mind. Always have your grinder running when you're making your your grind finer. Finer, yep. Uh, dose out uh, somewhere between maybe 20 or 30 grams of coffee when you make an adjustment. Yep. Uh, fresh coffee. Fresh coffee. You can, if you have a bag of coffee that's... Uh, like a fresh roast, you know, somebody local roast and it doesn't have the uh, nitrogen mm -hmm. flush bath. Yeah. That coffee, uh, I was talking to somebody about that yesterday. The coffee should be used about four days after the roast date, and it should be used up within about 10, 12 days. Yeah. And as that time goes on, the, co the beans are becoming a little less fresh, and so you might have to tweak the grinder to make it better. So exactly. each bag is going to be different. How long you've had the beans makes a difference, all those things. So you can't go, I'm gonna buy a, a cheapo bag of coffee to get my to dial it in so I can waste all that coffee and then I'm gonna put my fancy coffee in. Well they it, would might be... you, it might get you close. <laughs> yeah. It might get you from like on a step list like a Mazer, that might get you within the ballpark rather yeah, than starting then, from zero. And then you take your good beans and dial it in the rest of the way. Um, and what else? So we're dosing out, blah, 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 finer, keep it, or, or starting and weighing your dose until you, you feel comfortable yeah. uh, eyeballing it. Because mm -hmm. that's going to make a difference in your uh, mm -hmm. extraction rate. Yep. If you have more coffee, more grams in that uh, portafilter, it's going to come out slower. Or less would be faster. Yeah. So all of those things make a difference. And we, when we played with it at that class, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was eye-opening. And then the final thing is, if you're using a stepped grinder and you're kind of uh, stuck between two notches, you tamp. have to work it out with your tamp. Tamp it harder. Tamp it lighter. Tamp it all the way. <laughs> Tamp it up. Cool. All right. So uh, anything else you want to add about dialing grinders in, No, Gail? I think we've discussed everything that surrounds it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much.